Right, hello everybody, welcome to the marquee match of the round at this of this round of Blitz Pit. Uh, with me is Skurometzo. Absolutely, Dionysian versus Sean18, also known as Shawnee. It's the number one seed, Dio, versus the number 13 seed, but former Blitz Pit champion, Shawnee. Wood Elves and Undead, and one minute action is kicking right off. We are... Uh, we are fast and furious here. Shawnee on offense. And this is round three, winner's bracket. So loser does not go home, but they'll have a, uh, a steep climb to get back into it if, uh, if they can't get the win here. But you could be looking at a preview of the final if you're talking about quality of coach. Absolutely, two absolute legends of the game here. So interestingly, Shawnee didn't go for a, uh, you know, there was the chance of making two killers, right, with a, a taking a claw. He didn't. He went with horns. Horns wrestle yeah. have like a, a, a very, uh, very nice sacking player here. And then Absolutely might go tackler both. With obviously the stacking. This was the this was the bad thing about Woody's right was that because people could stack, everyone was going to have a mighty bow tackler pretty much. Apart from owls, which I, I would have expected, horns tackle. Yep. Um, so, because you know, this with a strip, a one or an uphill, a one day or an uphill strip is okay, isn't it? Um, like that was okay. Whereas the, yeah. the the tackle horns you can just use for your blitz every turn, and then you can you know you could blitz you know Amazon's whatever. Um, he's always going to get the two D there. So I, I I kind of prefer the horns tackle to horn strip. And he's got a two heads catcher, which helps with the one turn without having to commit the sidestep to it. Blood, blood. I like, I like that. It's actually, block. Um, what is he yeah, to, here? To be, to, to be honest, I was super into strip, uh, strip horns until the first game, and then it, it didn't really do anything the first game we casted. But yeah, your analysis there makes like perfect fucking sense. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't seem super helpful. And uh, it is interesting. The horns probably the most popular mutation in this tournament, huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean, because it's not, it's not like. There's no development, is there, and everything. Like, if you were developing, then you, there'd be probably of a lot more claw. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, of course, um, yeah. But, yeah, it's it's all about just critical blitzes and stuff, isn't it, and horns? Oh, just because yeah. you so much. Like, it's really good, especially just one on the team. Um, so, yeah, we've got the wrestle and the, wrestle and the tackle is, is a bit extreme, isn't it? It's already got blocks. The wrestle's a bit redundant, but obviously it makes him a good sacker as well. Um, yeah. Just a leader thrower, and he's stacked block. He's stacked kick on the block guy. I think that's a better idea than just having a kick guy on his own. I think I like stacking the kick mm. or something else. Um, and yeah, we've got. Why is that? Uh, just because then you've got a bit of protection for that your kicker, isn't it? Rather than just a kicker that you've got to throw out on his own uh, defenseless right. line. Yeah, fair enough. Huh? Like you know, it doesn't matter who's kicking, right? So that this kick doesn't really matter. He's still a blotch catcher at the end of the day. Like he's still a useful player to protect. Whereas you, if you've got a kicker, um, if yep. you can remember uh, Sparky's game where he had a kicker and like a million linos and he exposed the kicker and he got removed. Um, you know, whereas if you make it, like the fact there's no cost of stacking, just stack it up. And then, uh, yeah, wrestle two heads. So shorty has gone two heads and horns. So both doubles spent on his ghouls. Only three ghouls for 13 players. So he could foul potentially. Absolutely, and the story of this tournament from our uh, point of view in the streams thus far has been uh, cage frustrations for Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> I don't think those will continue in this match, but we shall see. I mean, they've kind of already started, right? This uh, is, uh, a little bit. I mean, he's got the screen in front, so it's pretty hard for Dio to get around the side to get in. And if he does, he's giving him a ward answer to hit next turn. Yeah. I'm sure he's probably under, like, you know, you know sure he's got this pretty protected, so he doesn't I even have to kick yeah. because he's got so much of the screen in front. But, you know, Dion might look at the sack. And I guess by doing these kind of tempters, and you know, the fact that now Dio has got to spend, you know, maybe 20 seconds of his turn considering whether that does that, then sure, he's, got that much, sure. he's got that less time to, uh, to execute if he goes for it, and that much less time to... Uh, to do the rest of his turn if he doesn't, so maybe he, you know he won't even consider these kind of low odds run arounds, and he should you know. So you know who knows? Maybe that was it. Like that's what I said. Maybe it was a bit of kind of uh, tempting on purpose from Ducky, you know, like rather than just inability to cage. It was maybe just purposeful 
whoops, um, you know, leaving a low odds shot to, for people to consider and maybe go for. Does he rerolls? He's got three rerolls. Yeah. I think with it's been your dancey, you've got to, haven't you? Um, right. Hello, everybody. Um, yeah. It's also the rules are in the in the exclamation point bit as well it pit, but you could also obviously join the Discord because uh, it's a good Discord to join, <laughs> and it has things there. And hello oh. everybody. Sorry for not saying hello to everybody, but uh, I, I didn't realize that there were two two responses to pit there. I thought it was just the bracket for a minute. <laughs> ah yes, yeah, there is the rules. Yeah, yeah we're as well. good. Yeah, but long story short, uh, we uh, add there not we they admin in mutations on every team and does give you the ability to stack multiple skills per player. Yep. For this build. He moves up here, right? No, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't. Was that trap space from Dio? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, so interestingly, that uh, that Strip Horns War Dancer becomes kind of a lower priority target for Shawnee because because of his his sure hands blodger. Yeah. Um, it's really just that Rackle that Rackle guy that's the the massive you know ball hawk threat. Oh wow! And well, now well, you know what? Now he's not a problem at all. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's got the apple, though. He's, he's got to apple this. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have two ward answers. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter the skills. Yeah, he's hanging matter. on though. He's thinking Ooh, about it. He, well, it's 50-50 yeah, to work, and it doesn't work. Correctly well, that takes. Is a correctly takes the yeah, needle huge. off. Huge. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I know no, you're dying right. to get into this. It's huge. But I just want to say how stupid I am. I <laughs> often just take the dead, <laughs> and then uh, obviously the dead would have given an extra player, but Dio was smart enough not to do that. Sorry. Carry on. Ah, uh, smart. Smart. I, that's something I wouldn't have thought about. I just sort of frustration picked dead. But yeah, huge swing in momentum there. Shawnee getting rid of a war dancer, getting rid of the Apo. No bench for Dio to work with. So uh, anything he can hit with now sticks. Yeah. Yeah, that is that is actually huge. I, I expected Dio to dodge out actually after that hit. Um, mm. And then assist with somebody else. But uh, he didn't and he paid the price. Oh, now he's coming in. Yeah, yeah, maybe that uh, that that uh, spurred his uh, interests a little bit in trying to get this game back in hand. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of dice, though. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a 75% dodge in to here, isn't it? And then the leap. Oh, the two heads coming around to cancel the assist. Yep. Oh, okay, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he snaked it for a second there, the way the, the skill came up. Yeah. See, I think you do the four plus dodge and then the leap. Dio doesn't agree? Or is he going to do the leap first and then the four plus dodge? I'll come around all Same. the way. Oh, no, because that's against tackle, yeah. Oh, no, he, he did do it wrong. No, he's doing it against the tackle. He's doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, and he ran out of time. He's running out of time. He's not going to have all <laughs> oh, into the that, dogs. that mistake has cost him, hasn't it? Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad mistake by Dio. He's sitting there staring at the skulls. Can't do anything about it. Might lose another war dancer here. Yeah. I mean, he's definitely going to get fouled. Um, yeah, he's going to. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the player to lose. Does Shawnee have a bench? He must have a, a zombie yeah, on two, his bench. Two. Yeah, two zombies. Yeah, that, that war dancer is in big fucking trouble. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's fouling for sure. Two catchers that can just get uh, two deed as well. Uh, yeah. If you're willing to make a ball carrier hit, he's uh, he's, gonna blitz he, he, he's not. Yeah, that's fair. That's the smarter play. <laughs> GG, what a dicing. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, you know it was a slight mistake though, wasn't it? It was a slight mistake there, from Dio. I mean, he could have just dodged in first, yep. then done the leap. And, and he, you know, he's going to the same place that he would have gone to if he had done the dodge first and then the leap. It's not as if he was getting to, a, you know, a different square. It might have been more useful. Get yep. from a different angle. Um, 
But he was running out of time, right? So maybe that was the thing there, with the running out of time. Yeah. He was down to four seconds the time. And that's the thing, those kind of speculative ball sacks like that, they take some time to, first of all, spot. You know, you probably spotted it on the previous turn. But then you've still got to, you've still got to then think about whether you, whether you go for it and then how you react if you pop it, what you do safe before you go for it. So, like, there were so many things to factor in in that, in that play that, it, you know, you ended up kind of running out of time didn't you? and making the wrong move. Absolutely. I mean, you called that. You called that before that turn even started. That was. I mean, that had to have been in play. Even if he'd gotten the ball out of the hands there, I don't think he had enough time to really capitalize on that hit, given how much thinking he had to do about it. Um, so yeah, blitz pit, different format. You know, we've seen it all. We saw. We saw Regor get robbed of four seconds too. <laughs> yeah. In his last game. Oh no, Jim Fowl though. <laughs> That was pathetic, wasn't it? <laughs> not even a stun. Not he snaked it. So uh, that war dancer is going to get away, and that is a huge breath of relief there for Dio. He's yeah. still got a fighting chance. Looks like every player on Johnny's team is called Wrestling Kick, <laughs> and his team is big. <laughs> 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 Can you explain that for our uninitiated fans? Oh no. <laughs> okay, um basically Shawnee oh god, there's a long there's a long there's actually a really long story, but Wank Nation was a thing and then they made a clan in Rebel and called it Wank Nation. Well they said it was Wrestling Kick Nation, but it was Wank Nation. And then uh that that's the story. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Oh, there you go, he failed. <laughs> he's down and stunned this time, so I think he's getting fouled two more times at least. Yeah, I think he might be, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this war dancer can be the hero with the passive removals though. Hello, yeah. Crystal Hunter. Hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they all lived happily ever. But as you can imagine, re uh, you know, rebel. We're not the keenest on 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 the naughty schoolboy humor because Rebel <laughs> are a serious, you know, a serious uh, organization with high visibility, and they couldn't have something as stupid as that going on. <laughs> <laughs> Views expressed in this stream are not supported by the Rebel admin team. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Rebel. I fucking love that command. Brilliant. Right, so again, he's a bit loose with his balls here. Shawnee flashlights. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Ah, the classic assist for the yeah, Spring 3 character. Did he know yeah, that was a little weird. He is, he not fa is he not fouling this turn because of the stun, I guess? Yeah, yeah, probably. And he probably just wanted in there in case he dub skulls, right? But then he wouldn't eat the dub yeah. skulls, so he's there for quad skulls. Yep. Which is a bit extreme, but there you go. Did I see the intro about I did, Volk. Yeah, well done. Well done. That was pretty entertaining. I watched it yesterday, and the stream was bugging out, so I, I, it was kind of a bad experience, unfortunately, for the debut. But I saw it this morning. It was very well done. You should you should toss a... Uh, if you haven't already, you should toss it in the Discord, too. Yes, please. I haven't been able to see it, sadly. Was, was that Rick? That was Rick singing it? That was pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Glorious. Cool. Well, Very cool. There's only one guard in the cage, but it's still hard to get in, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I'm more concerned about Shawnee's ability to foul that war dancer next turn. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be a bit tricky for him to get this foul in. Yeah. Maybe he's yeah. coming up. Dio, of course, having the uh, probably the best touchdown of the tournament uh, in his game against Ducky. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, uh, go to the Blitz Pit Discord and check out uh, all of the various uh, uh, contenders for best player or whatever that people have been clipping in there. It sure is worth a watch. Yeah, it was unbelievable. So, yeah, the, the loser of this will face Unseen Walker or Regor. Uh, the winner of that, the winner of Unseen Walker versus Regor will face these, and then the loser of this game, and the winner of this game will face the winner of Zaz, 75, and Mankiz.
and that will be your 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 winners bracket semifinals. Uh, and that sh that should be a hell of a match too. Uh, hope you know, like undead, undead. Uh, that was the story. There was a lot of undead teams in qualifiers, and uh, only these two, I think. Yeah. What, yeah, what, I think it was just these two for. Why has he gone so far forward? Hmm. Just basing up his cage, I guess. Oh, oh, he's, oh, he's. Can still... I mean, this isn't a catcher. This is a one day. Oh, he's got. Horns. No, he's got horns. He's got horns. Yeah, horns. Oh, what a cheater! Surely the cheater with horns. <laughs> <laughs> no dot, no dot. They just, uh, they know, they know. They need their ace. They need their ace commentary crew for the uh, for the top game. And it's hard to argue that Shawnee versus Dio is not the top game on the bracket right now. Should all be excellent games, but uh, but this one is uh, pretty special. Unless you're Dio right now. Yeah, it's pretty horrible for Dio. <laughs> He's had one guy card, one dancer card, the the kind of better dancer, because it's the horns. But then I guess he's still got the Rackler, so like he's still got. Like the the, the strip wasn't so good against uh, Shawnee, was it? So he's just got a Rackle dancer now. Um, yeah. So I guess that's one way of looking at it as well. He's lost the horns, but he's still got the rackle. Whereas if he had horns tackle in this match, that would be his big weapon. But then the other one just being being stripped would be a bit crap, wouldn't it? Ooh. So oh, just the stun there. So actually, Dio very lucky to get away with this other war dancer, though. In my in my opinion, yeah, he had yeah that could have just ended the game if he had uh, had gone out earlier. <laughs> but it's Wood Elves. One turn, uh, one turn, a real a reality here. Dio, an excellent coach, uh, could very easily just make this uh, a, a drawn game at half. I've just realized that these guys have gone around the wrong way on. <laughs> the pictures in the corner are around the wrong way. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> 3D mighty blow hit here as a parting shot for the half. Gets nothing and the score. Oh, baby. Hey, you know what, though, Tom Schniz? If Reger has to fall, all right, I'll be there. I'll be there to console him regardless. But um, Unseen Walker's my man. I'm rooting for him. I would love to see him make the final. <laughs> Executioner. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. It was a real, real easy, nice drive for for Shawnee, wasn't it? He left the ball a little bit exposed at one point, but he got away with it in the best way possible. Um, Dio left his dancer exposed for one turn and got punished in the worst way possible. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. We're still in it. Only you know, possibly ten men for the second half, and he could maybe score the one turn yep. here with nine. Absolutely. <laughs> what do you mean by squares, Famir? <laughs> not much. Not much square on my body, except maybe my. Uh, I guess my outline is fairly <laughs> square, shaped like a refrigerator box. <laughs> He's making the old conga line. The fabled conga line. <laughs> also, I am no master. It's alright, carry on. Go ahead. Okay, no, well, go ahead. Your your point is going to be far more valuable than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, funny enough, because like obviously with the minute turns, you go a lot on autopilot. So it was a good job from Shawnee to like actually take pay attention to the turn counter because there was a riot, wasn't there, which which uh, which made it one turn shorter. Yeah. So it was a good job of him to like actually keep track of the turns. Um, I know it sounds stupid, but you know with a minute and against a good player, he, he was. I kind of just autopilot through that in in CCL. 
um, a yeah. lot of the time. So, so to do that in the one minute was 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 underrated. <laughs> Yeah, I, my my point uh, my point was going to be that I really like how fast Shawnee got himself set on defense because that does steal a little bit of thinking time away when you got to set up the one turn. At least for me, when I have a one turn come and I spend their defense mentally preparing to set it up because it's going to take me a three minute CCL turn <laughs> to set it up anyway. Uh, maybe not so much for Dio, but yeah. Well, I think what the what the what the clever players did. The, the, the blitz pit Ooh. veterans, if you will, what they did was um, they saved themselves before the tournament started. Yeah. So he probably, had a, he probably just had a, save, a setup saved. Oh wow, he goes for the uphill. No good. Could he not have like uh, hit from over there? Oh no, they're both guard, aren't they? Yeah, okay, there was nothing. There was nothing to it but the uphill. Oh, he gets a KO for his trouble. And now he's going to get a 2D on this mummy. Yep. And then a 1D with Russell on the other if he wants to, yeah. 2D both mummies, isn't it? Yep. But you could get lucky and kill one. It's possible. It is interesting that all the qualifiers are in. Mine, two of the qualifiers could have been, could have been, uh, you know, just in by default, couldn't they? Very easily, uh, and you know, it's like it, it's nice for the qualifiers, isn't it? To be in, it's not like they're yeah. worse. It's not like the qualifiers are worse than uh, than the people who have done well in Blitzbit before. And obviously, the qualifiers have done well in the qualifiers in the Blitzbit format. So they're like battle hardened in that regard. <laughs> oh, you know, and, and, and there is a world in which Dio's got Shawnee right where he wants him, setting up for kicks already. He's just yeah. got to get his score and got to outlast them for, uh, you know, <laughs> an overtime, and then uh, then it's Dio time, baby. Yeah, I think we'll see a Daka here. I am, as I admitted yesterday, I'm not a fan of that, but I, I would probably trust Dio more than most people to pull it off correctly and have some success with it. Doesn't look like he's going for a DACA. Not a full DACA, no. Uh. DACA runs up. <laughs> Give the people what they want. I don't know. I think it's 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 no better or worse against good players. All right, it's looking like we Sick are seeing Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's changing in the last twenty seconds there. Sean <laughs> eats pieces of Daka for breakfast. <laughs> 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 it's pretty good though because it keeps the mummies out of it for a while, doesn't it? Yep. Which he didn't put on the LOS. He used them to. Uh, Hold the best, the, the worst players to be blitzed, he held with them. So I kind of don't like that, to be honest. But there you go, we yeah, are seeing I think the Daka, Daka. Daka it is. Oh, baby. Sideline reporter Bezel checking in. Thank you. Thank you, Bezel. Oh, baby. Yep, he wants to keep. Ten players potentially for overtime. Who'd bet against him winning if he won the toss with ten players? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we we traded out. We traded out for wrestling in blitz in, uh, in Blitzpit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it doesn't help. Again, it doesn't help that I woke up at six a.m. in in my brain, which was seven a.m. because America. Does daylight savings time different from the rest of the world? Yeah. <laughs> and sat around not knowing what to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <brother. laughs> I just opened PCs to find the same exact thing. Oh, that looks like one hell of a one hell of a strat there. Probably a scatter and a six. <laughs> 
He is running away. Yeah, for, for the peop- for the uninitiated, Coffee's just being a <laughs> dickhead, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, if you're not familiar with this, uh, this is the Dakar strategy named after Matt Dakar and Fumble. Um, who, you know, is it's it's a great idea because you you play less Blood Bowl. Um, but yeah, you know, if you if you just run away, then um, they've got a, you know it puts the onus on them. Like, do they chase after you? Do they like hold midfield? What do they do? In either way, it buys you time, right? You're not getting ninety blow tackle blitz here for this turn, you know. He, he, he survived, you know, he did not get blitzed here, which is great. Um, and then he's probably not going to get blitzed next turn, or not get a good player blitzed. And then also, you know, if they if they if they come right down here, they just leave more space in behind as well for you to break through and, and like screen off and everything. So it's a very interesting tactic. Amazing, really. That although although a lot of people don't like Matt Dacker, it's amazing that he like you know actually found a genuinely new strategy in Blood Bowl. Yeah. Pretty amazing. I think I just prefer sitting at midfield against it. You know, like I feel like every time the Dacker succeeds, it's because you're downfield with your team that's trying to kill another player or two and every time it fails it's because you just sit there and be like okay you want a two-turn offense fair enough (laughs) enjoy starting from your own end zone (laughs) but i haven't i haven't personally ever actually had to face it so i mean i've tried it a few times and I just haven't rolled well when I've tried it. But yeah. That's, yeah. you know, you can't really judge it from, from the few occasions. Of I mean, course not, That's the thing, not, isn't yeah. it? It's like saying, like, you know, like the like the qualifiers, right? They're saying the qualifiers are better than worse, better or worse than the people who, who were invited is just not a conclusion you can draw from such a small sample size, is it? Uh, well, was anyone real, really saying that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, seems, that, that seems a little, yeah, that seems a little ridiculous but then sean is on the qualifiers and and everyone would put shawnee up up at the top wouldn't they yeah of course yeah so there's a lot of looking i mean look listen i get that the well has been a little poison because like i didn't make it through the qualifiers so people are like well no one no one here has won the sfl twice so they can't possibly be that good you know, so I get I get that point, but yeah, like come on, guys, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, <laughs> yeah. So, um... well, the uh, the hands off the hands off defensive response to this DACA, and I'm gonna say DACA, not DACA or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> um, is gonna make this uh, normally 45 minute. Uh, Blitz pit game about 25 minutes. Yep. <laughs> I mean, uh, we're probably going through a lot of overtime <laughs> unless Dio <laughs> wins the kick. Ah, uh, yeah, well done. Yeah, the, the thing is, though, like, you know, I'm sure Dio is more practiced at it than you are. Um, so, yep. you know, while obviously it is difficult, um, I think it's going to come easier to somebody who's who's played it a lot. Like, he's very comfortable with Dakaring, didn't he? You know, Dio is probably one of the most comfortable people in the world at Dakaring. Probably more so than Matt Dakar is. <laughs> you, you probably couldn't tell by looking at his picture in the bottom right corner of your screen, but he's very comfortable right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he's also very smart, which you also wouldn't guess from looking at his picture. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I would always be at a hundred percent if I was against Regor, Steve Motti. <laughs> yeah. Regor just made a six plus pass from a tomb guy in the skeleton of the skull. Incredible. <laughs> oh baby. Did it yeah, work? Exactly no. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely an issue. Oh wait it did, he's up one nothing. <laughs> Yeah. I only read the first half of what Bezel said. <laughs> <laughs> nope, and he's got uh, one. Some, I hope that one got clipped because that one might be the winner. <laughs> might be, yeah. But yeah, so that's the thing. The two heads means he's just got a two plus three, whatever happens. And it's saving attrition as well, isn't it? Whatever happens. So like, yeah. it's, it's. I mean, that's the big bad. thing. Yeah, especially in like CCL and that where. You know the the damage carries over. Obviously, not so much of a factor in Blitz Pit. But even then, you know the overtime makes removals more of a thing. Oh, he's going the three pluses. He's still got the screen if he fails them, so it's okay. Yep. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be a sprint here. Oh boy. This tackle Can player's looking very scary, isn't he? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's gotta he's gotta make a lot of he's gotta make a lot of threes, twos and threes yeah. to Three, uh, two. screen this ball effectively. Yeah, three two really is all it takes, isn't it? Yeah. But without touch. Oh, space is easy. Oh, he did a three. Oh, he was covering there first before covering the tackle. I think he should have. Uh, oh, I think no. he should have done this guy first, the three-two to cover against the tackler first, right? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe he should have GFI'd as well. I think it was more important to cover against the tackler. Um, Not super easy to make this a 3D though. He's no, gonna. But he, I don't think he'll care about the 3D. Yeah, he's got tackle. Wow. Yeah, I think he absolutely. Has. I mean, he could have come around here as well, right? Three. Four, five, six, double GFI that would be. So he, he probably should have actually made the GFI with the ball. Mm. Either forward or, or sideways. What like you know, a diagonal or forward. Just be just to, and then cover this side first. Always oh, go and wrestle. For a better push direction. Yeah. But he gets the ball. Wrestle. Down. Yeah, wrestle. Wrestle did it for him. Wow. Three plus to get the sure hands onto the ball there. And then, oh, God. Oh, away. fails the GFI, though. No, he double wounded. Oh, snakes the GFI. Oh, no. I'm this oh, guy. My God. <laughs> He's back for OT, though. <laughs> he is. Oh, Shawnee, no. Oh, um, what a disaster that Don't was. Shawnee badly. not making the Shawnees. Don't roll badly, Shawnee. Shawnee failing the first rule of Blood Bowl. Do not roll bad dice. Absolutely terrible schoolboy error from Shawnee there. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I mean, that is that is the thing about the Daka, too. It kind of puts... It kind of puts the entire half of Blood Bowl into one turn for each coach. And, uh... <laughs> Amazingly, we didn't see we didn't see miracle dice either way, and uh, Dio could feel hard done about his, but he probably made a bad decision in his process. And then Shawnee just snaked the GFI. <laughs> yeah. can get Good call by Shawnee going you know. in with the wrestle. Yeah. Well, not really, because it cost him his. It cost him. Oh no, because he would have had a yeah. GFI to hit, wouldn't he? He would have had a GFI yeah. to hit with the. Uh, yeah, he had the GFI white. to hit with the, uh, the white. The white, whereas he dodged with uh, dodge, so it was it was it was absolutely the correct way to do the. Uh... Oh, he did that way. He could have been greedier here, Dio. He could have just hit with him, and then hit him, and then he could have uh, potentially surfed the ghoul. I, I like going for the ghoul surf personally, um, but you know this way it gives you potentially more play. But I did like going for the ghoul surf. TB hitch. Just because, like, you know, the ghouls are so critical, aren't they? This gets you an extra player through to yeah. defend, though, which is nice. And also, if you get you get lucky on that ghoul surf, that's the sure hands. All of a sudden, your your player who's in the injury box, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's effective again. <laughs> Oop. But yeah, I just felt like the extra guy wasn't that relevant. You could also dodge this guy off as well. So like, I don't know. I I did like surfing him, but um, you know, this is, uh, damn, he's gone for a foul. He's fouling the goo with eleven men. Oh. Risky business. Is he a ducky or a gym? Wow. He's a ducky. Oh, he is off though. He is off. Yeah. But I think you'll trade that. Well, I mean, he, he's got to be happy with that trade. I'm surprised it. I wouldn't have been happy with that trade, but Dio is. Yeah. He didn't have a brown. That was that was rowdy, wasn't it? That. Yeah, it sure was. A jucky foul. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, I thought these were top-level coaches, and they roll like that. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> terrible player making these dice rolls. <laughs> Failing right, the he, dice rolls. He not can... Does he go for the wrestle hit again with more dice, or does he clear the path for the uh, GFIing uh, guard white there? I think he clears the path for the GFIing. Yeah, guard I think guard. I think so too. Yeah. But then there's just no real recovery or anything afterwards. Maybe you just give up and three dice blitz this three dice mighty blow blitz a dancer <laughs> was an option. <laughs> oh, he's already <laughs> moved him. He's already moved him. Oh, he was oh. going for the ghoul wrestle. He was. Did not make the four plus. Didn't lose his ghoul though. No. And so yeah, this is uh this is probably gonna be OT. Yep. I kind of didn't like that as much as well, because if you just go for the block and then free him up, then at least you've, like, you know, made it a little bit harder for him, haven't you? Yeah. If it fails. But... Ow on the blodger here. Oh, he's a tackler anyway. Doesn't break on the ghoul again. Ghoul's hanging on here. Yeah. I surely die or won't foul again. Yeah, I think I agree, Adon. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It looks like he's thinking about it. It is, because that's a, that's a wild place to stand. I guess the tackle, the mighty blow tackle is off the field, so it's not really scary. But I guess he's just putting tackle on the girl, isn't he? That's the main thing. Yeah. He's going to punch somebody. I guess this guy can come up and screen the dancer anyway, so just a shame when he haven't done it. No, he's not screening the dancer, he's assisting, yeah. That's the thing, you want to assist that, but then you also want to screen the dancer, don't you? I'd want to screen the dancer anyway. That's why I didn't really like the dancer standing there, he could have just been back a little bit. Yeah. And his tackle's still stopping the ghoul getting at the ball, but he's not exposing himself to uh, a punching. Well, what you do is show me here. Try to power, <laughs> try to power the dancer. Well, wrestle horns the dancer and then foul him, but you can't foul because you've got nobody near. Tragic. <sighs> Games all looking pretty exciting. Just scrubbing through Twitch right now. A lot of odds to catch up on if you're uh, locked in on this one because this is. Very likely going to be an OT sprint here. And will it be the Wood Elves winning the toss with uh, uh, a healthier than you'd probably want if you're Shawnee team? <laughs> <laughs> or will it be Shawnee? Oh, there's the break, but just the stun. Just a stun. Never bloody left. Oh, but he won in nines. Oh, oh here's the break. Ah, uh, just a stun again. I'm gonna say the the ghoul armor has been holding up. Breaks there, but he stays on the pitch. Yep. And yeah, now this problem with this this dancer that he put there, he put tackle on it. You know, he did put tackle on this ghoul, but he got knocked down, and he's gonna get fouled next turn, isn't he? He can't afford to score early because, you know, short, given Shawnee the two turn is just too easy. So, he can get a lot of people back to defend. Like, it's it's very safe ball, but the problem is, do you just forget about protecting the ball as much and go to protect your dancer? Because if I'm Shawnee, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to foul this dancer with uh, as many assists as I can, which is three assists. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna protect the ball and uh, pray for some uh, bad, uh, some 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 gym dice on the foul. Yeah. I mean, Shawnee is down to eleven men at the moment. Uh, Max, he might only be on ten. So you know, it could it could backfire on Shawnee making the foul here. But yep. I think against yep. a dancer, you've almost got to. That is the stall spell, yep. Yeah. And not just a dancer, like the dancer. <laughs> the dancer, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. One is already being taken care of. Yep. And this is the this is the dangerous one too. Yeah, Shawnee's doing it for sure. Yeah, I would, I would think so. It can backfire a bit, obviously. 
Oh, interesting. Oh yeah, that score is fine. I think you've got to go for it, haven't you? Even though you'll have two chances to get back if it's a KO. It's another another opportunity to play. Is he a gym or is he a ducky? <laughs> Here we go. Yep. Nice Toxic little run up there doing enough. the shimmy. <laughs> the shimmy shakes. Sitting on it. Ah, there it is. Waiting. <laughs> Just a stun. Uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> much ado about nothing. Just that a bloody should, stun. Should just be Dio running it right into the end zone here. And then uh, the uh, the ever dangerous undead one turn attempt. Oh, he's going to take a hit. Yeah, I think it's worth hitting ghouls, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Scary. <laughs> probably. <laughs> no, just a push. Like the one in 36 to waste a reroll sucks. And the one in 12 96 yeah. is, is not worth considering, really. Opinion. Yeah, but the, the the main thing is whether you you know the chance of losing the reward is not impossible, is it, to lose the reward? Well, obviously the quads isn't impossible, but if you roll the quads, you just say, "Oh well, I was dice, nothing I could do." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really? easy to say when that's not happening. It's a little different in game when you're like, "Why did I do that?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nah, nah. I think I think that's fine. I think that's one of the things where you know, like you know, it's just you know, dial plays poker, right? All you can do is make the right decisions, and then if the uh, if if you, if you get screwed, you get screwed. And, and at the end of the day, if you're all if you're all quads there, then just say fuck it. You know, like that's Blood Bowl's already a really lucky game. And then to lose them yeah. one in twelve nine six, you, that's just stupid, isn't it? Like, I think that's a completely fair thing to to just blame the dice for. To be honest, that's a very fair point. And uh, yeah, so on the offer here, a uh, riot. Shawnee wouldn't complain too much about that. Dio backlining. Hmm. Wonder if Shawnee will go for the move seven one turn. I think it looks like he is. Yeah, he almost has to now, doesn't he? Against oh, no, two. maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Well, if he is, I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> this, will be, uh, this will be slightly more complicated than PC's dodge from Tentacles uh, one turn. <laughs> PTK, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, PTK. Sorry, sorry, Purple Chest. Oh, I don't want to put that one around your snap. neck. He's got the quick snap. He's got to go for the one turn now, right? He's got to. And can he's he do really it helps. from a from a front line like that? Yeah. Oh, baby, he's he's definitely yeah, gonna figure it out. Can he there. can he figure it out in forty eight seconds? Is the real yeah. question. Yeah, I'm sure he can. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna move this guy forward one. Yeah. So we'll push him to there with the first one, then he'll push him to there, and then he'll do the last hit. It's hard, like with all zombies. It is hard with the zombies. But, um, yeah, super easy. Oh well, not that easy. <laughs> not that easy. Doesn't it doesn't use the reroll because it's the first block, which is there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Well. <laughs> I would have liked to see how that how that played out a little bit better, but uh, yeah. is what it is. And over time, it is. Here comes the fifty percent coin flip. God, yeah, that was that was hard to think. Dio result. can lose in overtime if he wins it. Yep, that was a dream result for Shawnee, wasn't it? Because he he was horns as well, so he would have easily blitzed through to score. Yeah. Ooh, trying some trouble. Oh. And oh, Shawnee wins the toss. Dio's gonna need a little bit of help here. A lot of help. 11 versus 8. Severely outmanned. Didn't really cause Shawnee any problems in the first half on his drive. This, I mean, this was definitely. Both players 
you know, had an all right offensive drive. <laughs> like, Dios was a bit of a shambles. <laughs> He yeah. only he only scored because of the double one from Shawnee, but you would have you would think if he's only got a score at all, he would have definitely won if he if he got the toss. You'd think whoever get this toss wins the year for sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I think. Basically. I mean, he's not going to dack her in overtime. So. No, no, he can just score whenever. Elves being able to score whenever they want is completely different to be you know than to, to them having to score and turn eight. Whereas it's not that much yeah. different yeah. for bash teams, because you know bash teams just can't do elf scores <laughs> you know they just don't yep. have the same the same quick strike ability uh, so you know they've got no they always just cage up and drive down whether they whether it's 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 instant death or not whereas what else having that flexibility just makes them devastating that was ko staying out though he's down a player because of it yeah eight eight versus eleven that's uh it's brutal isn't it yeah But if you're Shawnee, you wouldn't mind seeing two more L's off the pitch. <laughs> yep. He's getting the three Ds to seven. Or, or eight more, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if any, we're not being greedy here. <laughs> any amount off the field is good. Yep. Oh. Doesn't get the free catch. I mean, that's true, some guy won to an extent, but Kislev more than most are relying on the dice going in their favour, aren't they? <laughs> the thing with Kislev is they're a bit shit if the dice aren't good. <laughs> I guess that's the difference. <laughs> if Undead have bad dice, they, they can still win. <laughs> if Kislev have bad dice, they are absolutely up shit creek. <laughs> Because they really need the dice to go well. Yeah, different if they could have had two horns. I didn't. I didn't know that about the rules that you couldn't have. Uh, you couldn't have two of the same mutations. Like I wouldn't mind two two horny uh, linemen would be all right for Kislev, wouldn't it? But yeah, they always feel like worse, worse woodies. Not even slightly worse, <laughs> markedly worse. But then the thing is, obviously, it depends on the tiering and stuff. They could be the best with tiering, couldn't they? Because you could just give them two KTB. Ball in hand. Yeah. Not going to advance it. Smart move because he's out of range of the elves. What does Dio do here? Does he just go full pressure? He, he really can't. It's the same kind of situation as Wolfbark, isn't it? Um, in yeah. the first match that we saw, he's, he's got seven, six, six, seven, seven dudes who can do something. Um, five dudes standing. It's a similar situation to, to Wolfbark in that you can go balls out for the ball. Um... Or you could, you know, hope to knock him down on turn 15. Well, obviously there's no turn 15 now. It would be when he's in scoring range, you go for the, the leap sack. Which is, that's the strategy that Wolfbark went for. But, um... And he hasn't really got the opportunity to go for the intense pressure that Wolfbark... Didn't really go for intense pressure, but he had the option of some pressure. I don't think there's really a pressure option here at all, so... I guess we will see the... Try. Attempt to dodge us away and go for a leap sack at some point. Oh, wow. Dry coming back, but uh, what does he do here? He does not re-roll it. Uh, probably banking on his best. His best option is to just slow the undead down and go to kicks. Uh, this catcher is going to get a follow-up block. Uh, follow-up blocked by the mummy here, if he wants it. And now, now he'll go in the cage, won't he? Because yeah. There's no point getting a little bit forward and not being fully protected, whereas now he's fully protected. He'll have guard on the cage corners, I'm sure. There as well. I say I'm sure. Maybe not. <laughs> the risky, risky 11296 yeah. block here, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Only a little bit, yeah. 
I would have liked to have seen them when come across for the corner there first. And then move him, then move him back to this other corner. Uh, because he's got the Venga bus uh, form. Yeah, but not not a good Venga bus. <laughs> and there it is. Yep, follow up block by the mummy. 3D coming. Get to look out. No, well, and good. see ya. Yeah, that was avoidable. That was avoidable. Yeah, I didn't like that if move from Dalo, to be honest. He just pushed that, if he pushed that zombie on the blitz to the other side, that wasn't going to happen. Oh, wow. Some good dice here for Shawnee. So these are the two heads. The two heads can go around the back, and then the dancer can leap in and, and 1D the ball. It's not good, but what else can he do? It's a, it's a not a good Venger bus. There's no driver. There's no driver in the Venger bus formation. There's no guard on the back side and, and there's the blank spot so you can get the 1D from there. Yep. Um, uh, you and me both, Tom Schniz. <laughs> and here comes Dio. Just going for the uphill. Maybe trying to put, yep, put the game in the hands of his best player. I mean, at this point, what, you got to re-roll it, right? <sighs> Don't know. I mean, your dancer's just going to get, yeah. <laughs> there we go. And he gets gets paid off for it and there's that tackle that you love at the start of this <laughs> oh and he gets God. the injury too oh we might have a game folks not oh what a scatter not look oh what a scatter <laughs> does he just Oof. keep going at this point he didn't use dodge yet did he at least doesn't matter oh, he's got he left tackle, in. oh yeah he's got tackle yeah so i think he moves him through oh, one sec yeah yeah I don't even think it's that disgusting, Arietti. That's the one player he's made his one play for the game. <laughs> Can Dio capitalize? Like, that's what that player's there for, to do. Ball in hand. Oh, gets away from tackle. Oh. <laughs> but he fails the last dodge. I don't know if we just lost Jim there or not. I, I'm not. <laughs> or have we lost me? Jim, you there? All right, hello. Sorry about that. I have to oh, go. there you go. Uh, no, no, no problem at all. I thought I had crashed for a second, though. Uh, no, I said uh, almost I made it away. I said be right back. I said something anyway. <laughs> right, sorry about that. Yeah, I uh, see this This guy is lying on the floor. So one, one dodge too far, here. Eh? Yeah, so yeah, he, he won his final dodge, stunned himself, ball down. That could be enough to get them the kicks, though. It's not going to be super easy. It depends on this, this 3D on the dancer, though. That's true, yeah. No. Tackle gets him. He needs that armor to hold up. It doesn't, oh, but he's, he's just getting, stunned. He's getting kicked. But yeah, huge. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> Huge uh, removal, though, isn't it? Because now, does he re-roll this pickup and stuff is the question, isn't it? Well, he's not fouling him this turn. Oh, yeah, he's stunned, so why would he? Yeah. Got to go for the ball first. Does he re-roll it? Oh, he had 30 seconds to think about whether he'd re-roll it or not, and obviously he decided that he would because he did that instantly. Yeah. Interesting to see. I mean, I guess it makes sense you want that ball in hand, but the two impact players are stunned this turn. Probably could have gotten away without it, but the much more sure thing. Yeah. <laughs> Jim just broke his dick watching that. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> if, you do, if you don't, if you don't understand what that means, as I revealed in Discord, I had a dream that I broke my dick, um, and it was like you know, like you know, you had like slicer cucumber. <laughs> It was like that. It was oh, just like yeah. completely flat. There was no blood or anything, but it was just like there was, a, and there was like a bit of skin holding it together. But it was just like it was like it was like a cucumber cut in half. It was no no pain, thank God. So weird, weird dream, wasn't it? And then Andrew Lincoln, a bit. Andrew Lincoln, I also found, uh, found an ambulance for me, which was nice of him. Rock hard. Was it Walking Dead Andrew Lincoln or yeah. Love Actually God. Andrew Lincoln? <laughs> it, it was Walking Dead Andrew Lincoln. He was like <laughs> reacting like Carl. So he wasn't standing outside your house with a piece of whiteboard saying, "Sorry about your dick." <laughs> 
No, he wasn't, no. And he had, he had a gun in his hand. And he was like, he said he was going to shoot me as well. He's always pointing his, the way he points his gun all funny. And he's pointing his gun like that. And he's like, if I shoot you, then, then the ambulance will come faster. And I'm like, don't shoot me. <laughs> That's some fault, for it lo- fault force logic right there. <laughs> Isn't it just? <laughs> There you go. Well, the flurry by Dio might have been stamped out here. I mean, he's gonna be in range to try it again. And ooh, back backwards cage by Shawnee. No, yeah, he hasn't got guard in both corners again. A hard, a little hard for the dancer to get there though. Yeah, a little easier now. Yeah, yeah this is like quite easy. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Oh yeah, and the, yeah, recovery from those lead elves too. Yeah, it's like actually quite easy. It's way easier. Yeah, than it, it could have been. Interesting. You, know? you just needed the guard on the back end to at least make it the reds. Yeah. That is a hundred percent going for this. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he already he already has. <laughs> he yeah. already has. <laughs> It is going to be a double GFI, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One GFI. Oh, one GFI, yeah. Make a random block first. <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's get like, front. like, he can't score next turn, so he might as well uh, get something in front. Block does uh, base up that tackle for yeah, the response. Yeah, basing the tackle, though. very important. If, if, yeah, if actually, well. so. That was a great. That was a great block to get. Get him. Based. Wrestle on wrestle action here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, here comes another reroll. He's got sticks the landing on the second try, and the block. He's a pow. It's a He's full got a pow. The full pow. Didn't even get to play Blood Bowl, except it's overtime. <laughs> oh, but it's a two tackle zone square on the scatter. But here we go. He could just heave it across the pitch to that elf and be away from everyone if he can get it. I mean, on two. No rerolls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two plus pass. Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> He's got it in hand. Will yep. he snake another dodge? Or, or do, not snake. Uh, oh, no, he can hand it off to him. Can't, oh, running out of time, Dio. Doesn't cut the corner because he's a pro. Now what does he do about this other guy? Does he just try and get in the way of this tackler? He does. He's less less afraid of the zombie, I guess. Yeah. Wow. Oh my goodness! What a turnaround! And again, that all coming down to the cage, the guard yeah. cage management once again. Jim, the bane of our games. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable, isn't it? Like, I know there's time pressure and, and everything, yeah. but, like, come on, now, man. That's, it, like, Blood Bowl 101, in all, it? in all fairness to Shawnee, I was not paying attention at the start of that turn where he set that up, but I got to believe, looking at looking at those two guarders, that that white could have just been on a different corner. Yeah. Yeah, like, the, 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 the cage could have just been further back, right? The cage could have been further back, and they could have they could have had it on opposite corners at the end of the Still day. Still a bit of hope here, though. Yeah, he gets the pow. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we're, we're, we've, you know, it's a Sunday morning now. We've slowed it down a little bit, Khaki. <laughs> <laughs> nah, thank you for the update. Buzzer. Yep. Oh, looks like the main channel is over on our game as well. Mm. Oh, they're just they're they're just hosting us. Oh no, I'm looking at your channel because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was like, why is my picture there? Oh. <laughs> and it looks like Regor has won. Oh yep, yeah, Bezel's Bezel on the call there. <laughs> ah, more Regor, please. <laughs> So making this block is okay, but okay, yeah, it doesn't. But because like, because there's no there's no dodge around, but he is edge three, and he, you know, so like he wants to near the ball, and also these dodge players could come into it. So I did I did like going for the dodge and not just punching him. So now we've got a three three, two, yeah. 
lob to him and just score. In fact, he could just run to the end zone. Oh, oh my that? goodness, that would be. I was I wasn't thinking that far. I was just thinking Dude, three, three, two, Sounds pray. Like yeah. But that's probably the, it's amazingly that's probably the safer play given the position of a uh, of the <laughs> of the undead right now. Ah, so he gets the gets the dancer back as cover. Yep. You just got to consider the one realizing. I, like, I don't think he'll go for that. It's a bit rowdy. I think he'll he'll try and you know stall it out more professionally than that. Um, now he gets to two G as well. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah. So now it's what two two to get the ball. Yeah. And then get some kind of a screen through. Yeah, he can block off that tackler. That's the biggest threat. Yep. And, although he can't get the... Oh, the oh, blocker could actually run running. over there. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, no. oh. Another one. <laughs> Another one. But he's in. All right, he's got him based up. He's got to go for this ball now. I like going for the ball with this guy, honestly, because if yeah. he dodges and goes, he's four, five, six, seven. He could have been here on the sideline, and he could have had him there, but he, he's just he's just going with him and getting far away from the tackler. Okay, that works, doesn't it, to be fair? Uh, yeah, and he right, fails another dodge. Doesn't the tackle doesn't matter. He's just a block player. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it matters for him though. That's the thing, isn't it? Because he's got him as the uh, as the secondary option now. That's the important yep. thing. Yep. Is Shawnee in enough of an emergency situation here where he doesn't bother with his own score threat? I guess that ghoul can't do a whole lot else. No, yeah, he, I think he doesn't care about the, the scoring his own. He's just yeah. got to. Uh, can it get down can hit the relevant? Ball. This ghoul can hit the ball. This ghoul can double. Oh, Jesus, it can. Wow. Yeah. Ghouls are fast, folks. <laughs> yeah. Ghouls are fast. That's literally his best shot, isn't it? Because then he can dodge with him to recover as yeah, well. Yeah, Russell. Yeah, I think he has to give up in the win now. I think it would. Oh, so he's not making that dodge yeah. afterwards. That could have been a good dodge afterwards. I didn't like that block. Mm. I'll be honest with you. He's clearing the path to get the assist in from the mummy. He doesn't need an assist, though, because he's got horns. Oh Jesus! Yeah, you're right. So I really like that would have been dodge. rowdy with the GFS. I really like Here the we dodge go. Afterwards, gets the wrestle. He does. That might not be enough against Wood Elves, though. No, that's why I like not making that block. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not. I am not refuting that logic. Yeah. Oh, hey, Wanga. No rerolls for Dio. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Two heads just can walk right through. Yep, and that's the play, isn't it? The two heads is two. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, it probably is, because that's two without a reroll, then two with a reroll, then two to score. Probably just oh, there, score. Yeah. Oh, there's tackle there, but... But, the, you know, your other option is GFIing, or just picking up and not scoring. Yeah. Could just no reroll, yeah, no reroll for Dio here. Oh, it's only one GFI. I know it's two, because you've got to go lateral. Yeah, it's two because he's gonna go around it. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna go for the two heads. Yeah, yeah, I think that's best because then you, then you get something on the ball as well. So yeah, I like that. Yeah, he's got tackle on the first dodge, but then he's free on the second one with his dodge. Makes it all. He's got it. He's doing and it. Shawnee gonna fall in overtime. Dio hanging on. Whoa, he's halfway there, <laughs> living on a prayer, folks. Dio, the winner. Shawnee not out of the competition, though. Of course, he will go on to the loser's bracket, have a chance at a rematch in the finals. Stay tuned to find out how that all plays out. Thanks for having us, Jim, for this one. Wild game. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Skuro. Uh, commiserations, Shawnee. Congratulations, Dio, the, the Blitz Pit King. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.